Hello and welcome to Excel Training from IT Army and this is tutorial number 36 and in this tutorial we're going to talk about some printer related settings so let's get started. Okay so you have in front of you the same to-do list that we created in the previous video and now we're going to see that how this document is going to look like if I print it so for that the shortcut method is press ctrl p and it will take you to the backstage or the printer page or you can do it from the file menu so if I click on file it's going to take you to the backstage and over there we have a tab called print and click on that and then it shows you some buttons over here on the right hand side it's showing you that how it's gonna look like so you can see over here we have the button over here print if you are fine with everything you can go ahead and press this button and it will print the document and then we have the spinner control over here using which you can control how many copies you want to print then we have the section called printer from where you can select which printer you want to use. If you want to add a printer, you can add that. I don't have any printer, so I'm going to print as a PDF. And then we have a link over here to open the printer properties dialog box. Then we have a bunch of settings available over here. So you can see as of now that whatever document I have created that is not fitting in one page, we are getting the percentage done, phase and due, by. And the, sec the last column we were having the notes or the remarks column that is appearing on the second page. So you can see over here you are getting this control over here using which you can navigate to each and every page and see how each and every page is gonna look like. So now, the problem is that I want to have all these things fit in one page and there are different ways to do that thing. One is I just adjust the width of the column to fit all in one page or I say that shrink it and fit it all in one page or I maybe I can change the orientation of the page from portrait to landscape. So there are different ways or maybe I can adjust the width, the margin and I can reduce the margin. So over here coming back to settings, the first question you are being asked is what do you want to print? You want to print the this active sheet you want to print the entire workbook so that means all the sheets you have on the workbook or if you have already selected some cells before coming over here or before pressing ctrl p then you can select this option only selected cells gonna be printed so let's go back to the default option print active sheet then we have over here option that from which page till which page we have only two pages but if you have a lot of you can say I want to start printing from page number 5 to page number 10 for example. Then we have option over here in case if you are printing multiple copies how that print is going to happen. So it's going to print 1, 2, 3, 1 set complete and then 1, 2, 3 second set. Or second way is uncollated is going to print all the copies of first page and then going to print all the copies of second page and so on. Then we have option over here for print orientation you want to go with portrait as you are seeing over here or you want to print in a landscape mode like this so we can say if I print in landscape mode it will be able to print everything all in one page you can see we have just one page so it's your preference how you want to print it then we have over here the option about size of the paper how you want to depending on what printer you are using and what what size pages it contains you can select from here then we have settings over here related to margin. You want to have the normal margin 0.75 inch from all the sides or you want to have a wide margin or you want to have a narrow margin and we have some custom settings option available. And then at last we have scaling option in case if you are going out of page and you want to compress or shrink it all in one page or two pages. From here you can specify so you can see by default there is no scaling it, it will be printed in the normal percentage. So we have option over here, the first option is no scaling, second option says that fit the entire sheet all in one page. If I go with that, you can say it's fitting all in one page. Or you can say width wise fit all in one page, so it could be like this. Or you can say fit all the records, all the rows in one page, so it's like vertically shrinking the content. So these are the different ways for performing a shrinking operation. Okay, on the right hand side we are seeing over here the navigation button using which we can navigate to different pages. We are seeing the preview over here and the bottom right corner you're gonna see two buttons are there, toggle buttons. If I click the show margins button, you will start seeing the margins and then you can adjust the margins from here, how much you wanna put the left right margin, how much is gonna be header and footer margin, all that adjustment you can do. And the last button is for zooming in, you can zoom into page and then you can see the entire page zoomed in. 
So that's all about backstage print page and in the next video we are going to talk about some more advanced page stuff related things. So hope you like this video. If you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.